Okay, so you made up your mind, you're ready to get started, you want to buy some bees. There's a few different ways to go about it. Just give you guys a quick little spoiler alert. Whichever way you go about it, from what I found, it's going to cost you probably about $300 or more, maybe three to three fifty, depending on where you buy your bees. Um, but whether you buy um, cheap bees and expensive equipment or expensive bees and equipment all together, it's going to run you at least $300, um, which, of course, is regionally. I'm talking about what I found down here <coughs> in Houston and southeast Texas on what the prices are. Um, but I think that's kind of, you know, spreading across. It just depends on whether you can find cheaper local bees than what we've got down here. Um, so a few different ways to get started into buying bees. Um, and the way I'm going to break this out is you have to buy your bees and you have to buy your boxes and equipment. So just know that when you're buying, however you buy your bees, a few different ways to buy your bees. Uh, so know when you're buying your bees that you are still going to have to probably buy some equipment. Um, so let's just talk real quick about um, the ways to do that. Sorry, I had a little brain fart. Okay, so the cheapest way to buy your bees, and by that I mean just the bees. You're not buying boxes, frames, equipment, whatever. You're just buying bees. Is to buy a package. And all a package is is a screen box, and it's usually got anywhere from two to four pounds of bees. Of course, the average is three, but it's just a couple pounds of bees and a queen in the cage with a feed jar full of sugar water so they can be in there for a few days and not starve to death. Um, it's essentially a swarm in a box, okay? It's a, it's a swarm in a package. They're looking for a home. They need a home. They're ready to set up shop. But all it is is bees in a box. You cannot leave them in there. It's not, we're not talking a hive box. We're talking just a small screen box, okay? Just enough to hold the bees. Um, so you want to buy a package of bees because that's the cheapest way that you can buy your bees. That's what I did. Uh, by saying you want to, I'm not saying you particularly want to. I'm saying that's what, you know, you've made up your mind. You want to buy a package, okay? Uh, a package of bees is going to run you. Now, again, this is one of those regional things. Depends on where you get them. I've seen them advertised as cheap as $90 in some regions. Um, I've seen them as high as $150 in other regions. So what I'm looking at here is the source where I bought my first package of bees. And I bought my bees from this group because of what their website said because of what their history is, the, the family history of buying bees. Just a little disclaimer, I am not affiliated with these people at all. I'm not making any money from them by doing this. I'm just simply giving out their name because I bought my first bees from them and I was very happy with the quality of their bees. And that is Bee Weaver Apiaries uh, in Navasota, Texas. That's B-E-E-W-E-A-V-E-R. Bee Weaver, if you look them up online, you look up Bee Weaver Bees, you're gonna find them, I promise you. And I bought my bees from Bee Weaver because they were, they've been treatment free for over 10 years. And that's what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be treatment free. So I'm looking on their website right now. Again, this is 2014, so prices are probably going to change over the next few years, and this video is not. So just keep that in mind. Don't call me a liar. Okay, I'm looking at Bee Weaver right now. Their package of bees for 2015 is $155. Okay, that's just for the package of bees like I described it earlier. Now let's look online, and I look at catalogs where I buy my stuff online. Again, not affiliated with this group at all. It's just where I buy my stuff, so I'll give you guys a little insider tip. This is the cheapest prices I've found anywhere. Uh, also with almost always free shipping over $100, which is great because a lot of beekeeping stuff online is heavy. So if you can get free shipping, that's awesome. And that is Man Lake. And I'll put the spelling here below in the comments and also maybe put a little link in the video or something. But it's M-A-N-N-L-A-K-E-L-T-D, manlakeltd.com. And they are a beekeeping supply house. Like I said, I've had really good luck with them. I've always had great service and support from them when I get online and have questions. Um, so I'm looking at their website here. To have a traditional, what they call a traditional kit um, is $128. And that is a 10-frame box. That is a, it comes with your 10-frame uh, hive body, 10 assembled frames with right cell foundation in them, uh, inner cover, outer cover, and a simple bottom board with an entrance reducer. Okay, so that's the that's the bare bones that you need to get started. That's the box that you need to dump your package into. So you're looking at $128 there. Let's assume you're out of state, so no taxes, and let's say you get free shipping because it's over 100 bucks. $128, and you got to get your package of bees from Bee Weavers, which if you're anywhere in Texas, they which actually they have a, now I think nationwide. You can have to look on their website where all they'll deliver, but they do drop ship locations to where you can pick up your bees in different states. But so $155, $128, you know, for easy numbers, you're looking at $150 and $130. So $280 bucks for the combined bees and boxes. That's just to, to get them started. That's not a feeder. That's not anything else like that. That's just bare bones, $280, bucks, okay? So that is the cheapest way to buy your bees is to buy a package. 
and then buy your boxes. Now again, you can probably find cheaper packages elsewhere and you can probably find cheaper boxes elsewhere or if you have a good wood shop, build your own boxes, be my guest. Um, which I'll make, you know what, I'll make a little video about that too, about building equipment and you know, what I build myself and what I buy. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. We're just talking about buying bees and buying boxes, okay? So that's $280 to buy the cheapest bees. Now remember, or be aware, you know, you're putting yourself at the highest risk there because with a package, it's a swarm in a package. And I've actually had more than one person tell me they bought a package of bees, took them home, dumped them out into their hive body, and the bees decided they didn't like it. They walked right out the door and flew off into the woods. And that guy just watched $150 fly away. That's a very real risk. It's just like when I talk, I mean, it's essentially the same thing as what I talked about in the freebies video. Uh, when I went and I captured that swarm, took them home, put them in the box, they weren't happy with it. They wanted something else. <coughs> Excuse me. So they took off. Um, so you are running the risk of your bees not liking the box and taking off on you. Um, there's a few things you can try to do to mitigate that. Try to screen the entrance, keep them trapped in the box for two or three days to get used to it, and that should help. But again, you know, it's not. I don't think it's all that common that they fly off. They don't like your box, but it can happen. It's, it's a risk you take. Um, and you're starting from infancy, basically. You've got this. Uh, these bees that start off, they have nothing. They've got to build everything from scratch. So just be aware, you know, it might take them a little bit longer to get built up, but again, you, you know, you're saving a few bucks up front on buying the cheaper bees. So let's take it up a peg from there, from the package of bees. The next way, the next cheapest way you can go about buying your bees is to buy what's called a nuke, which is short for nucleus colony. It's essentially a half a colony. Now with a nuke, you're getting usually four frames, four to five. They usually sell them as a five frame nuke. Um, but it's actually just four frames and then they put a frame feeder in the box as well, okay? With a nuke, what you're getting is a flourishing small colony. So they've already got drawn combs, they've got some honey, they've got some brood, which of course the baby bees, they've got some pollen stored. They've got a queen, she'll be caged when you get her. Um, she may not be the queen that was with that nuke when it was in the field. Um, but you will get a mated laying queen and you'll have a hive that already is in progress. They already have everything going. Now what this is going to do is it gives you a jump start. It gives you, uh, you know, if nothing else, a couple weeks head start over starting from a package. But it also gives you a little bit of insurance because it's extremely rare that you're going to have a nuke and move it into a hive and then have them abscond because they already have all those resources. They're already, you know, happy where they're at. They're not going to just march out the door like a swarm or like a package could or a swarm could. They're usually going to stick around because they've already got everything started and they're just going to build out from there. Now a nuke is a bit more expensive obviously because you bought some time, you bought some insurance. Again, looking here online at Bee Weavers, their 2015 nukes, um, it's $235. So now you spent, you know, another from the packages you've spent um, about $75 more somewhere in there. I'm just doing quick math in my head. $70, $75, $80, something like that. More but again, you're buying some insurance and you're buying some time. But with a nuke, you've still got to move them into another hive body, okay? You can't leave them in that nuke box. They're going to come in a corrugated plastic or even cardboard box. That is not a permanent hive body. You can't leave them in it. They've got to be moved into the other box. So now we go back to Man Lake and we look, okay, what's our beginner hive kit? $130. So now you got $130 plus $235. You're looking at $360 to get started. So a bit more expensive than starting from a package, but again, you're buying that insurance, you're buying some time. So that's it for the nook. The last way to get your bees, and the way that I always say is the most expensive, but maybe not, actually now that I'm looking at this, is to just simply buy what's called a full strength colony. Now with a full strength colony, the advantage there is that you're buying the bees already in the hive body. So with a full strength colony, it's usually eight to 10 frames. It's usually a 10 frame setup. Uh, some people sell them as eight frame setups, but typically a 10 frame setup. And they're going to say, you know, guaranteed eight frames of drawn bees and brood and combs, whatever. Now, when I say they say that, I'm not quoting uh, anyone um, just for whatever disclaimer reasons. I'm just saying, if you call me and I say, yeah, I've got a 10 frame hive, I'm going to sell you. It's going to be minimum eight frames. I try to get a full 10 frames, at least partially drawn on the on the last two frames. But, you know, it's just, it's just to make sure you're getting a fair shake is why we say that. You know, make sure somebody's not selling you a 10 frame setup and there's two frames drawn in it, you know. Um, but again... With the, buying a full strength colony, you've got a full strength colony, whereas a nuke is, you know, half a colony. Um, so eight to ten frames of bees and brood, and they're ready to go. You can take them home and throw a honey super on them, and, you know, hopefully they start making you some honey in the first year. Now, that's not guaranteed. You know, that's all, it's a whole different thing about how quickly you're going to get honey. Um, but again, with the buying the full strength colony, you just pick them up from the bee yard, bring them home, set them in the backyard, you're done. So the thing is, you're not going and buying bees over here 
and then boxes over here. It's all come and done. From their yard to your yard, done. Congratulations, you're a beekeeper. Now, looking at, again, bee weavers, and you guys, I encourage you to shop around. You don't have to buy from bee weavers. Um, their 2015 cost, they're showing a full strength colony, uh, 350 to 375. And I don't know what that, why they're getting a price range there. It's just that's up to them. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not judging them at all. Like I said, I like their quality. Uh, but just showing 350, 375. So let's say worst case scenario, 375 for a full strength colony. 375 for a full strength colony. Um, and what do we say it was with the nuke and boxes? That was 360, right? So you know, hey, 15 bucks more. You save yourself even more time because the colony is already full strength and you save yourself the effort of going and buying the additional equipment. So all that being put together, you guys can kind of figure it up how you want to figure it up. You can buy cheaper bees and more equipment or you can buy your bees and your equipment all together. It's however you want to go about doing it. I encourage you to do your homework and um, you know, have fun with it. Go about it whichever way you want to go about it. Number one rule in beekeeping, it can be as expensive <laughs> or as cheap as you want, and that's in terms of actual cash spent, okay, not time invested. Um, it can be as cheap or as expensive as you want it. Most important thing is that you guys have fun doing it and you enjoy it.